What's up guys, I'm Carlos and today we're all a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 2016 Suzuki CR's 1.4 GLX. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. For sneak peeks, behind the scenes, short one minute reviews and much more. Remember to go for our new Instagram and TikTok accounts, I promise you will not regret it. So let's move on to the front of the Suzuki. So as you can see the front of the Suzuki doesn't look too bad. You do have your chrome grille over here and this is a 5 year old car and this chrome is already peeling. So it doesn't look too good quality. So you do have your big Suzuki badge over here and something nice is that you do have your spotlights over here. You do not have any LED lights nor daytime driving lights. You just have your traditional amber lights. And these amber lights, they do have these mirrors so it looks like uh, LED lights. Let me show you how they look like. So this is the normal daytime driving lights. The park lights. the headlights, the spotlights, the brights, the indicators with the lights, and the indicators without the lights. So as you can see those lights don't look too bad they are decent with brightness, but they're not the brightest lights ever. So you do have some fake roads over here. So you can see this car is made for looks and not for function. But you do have a nice real grill over here. And this car does sit pretty low for a sedan. And you also do have a very nice body line on this bonnet. So as you can see, right when we open up the bonnet on the Suzuki CRs, the presentation is not too bad. You do have the Suzuki text over there. Doesn't look too bad. I wouldn't say the presentation is too good, but at least you have an engine cover. So this car is a 1.4 naturally aspirated four-cylinder petrol engine, which produces 91 brake horsepower or 67 kilowatts. This car produces 130 newton meters of torque, which is a really good number. This car goes 0 to 100 clumps in 14 seconds and this car's top speed is 190 kilometers or 118 miles. 
This car is front wheel drive and this car weighs 1.5 tons or 3,000 pounds. This car is very economical as this car adds about 7 litres per 100 kilometres on the city and on the highway can go as low as 4 litres per 100 kilometres. That's of course with the air conditioning off. This car comes in two types of transmissions, a 4-speed automatic and a 5-speed manual. This one is a 5-speed manual, so it's more fun. This car retails at $10,800 in America, $158,000 in South Africa, and in Europe, €9,100. So this car is actually at a very good price range for a 2016 car. So should you buy this car? Is this car worth your money? Or should you go with other competitors? Wait until the first part of your so you can see if this car is worth your money. So this is the back of the Suzuki CRs, and in my opinion, it doesn't look too great, but also isn't the worst I have seen. You do have your chrome strip over here with your big Suzuki badge over there, with this kind of funky font on the CRs text over there. And of course, you do get the Suzuki text in bold and in print. So you don't have any LED lights or data running lights for the back. So let me show you how the normal daytime running lights look like. The tail lights. The brake lights with the lights. The inner cases with the lights. The inner cases without the lights. The brake lights without the lights. And of course, the reverse lights. So as you can see, those lights don't look too bad. They are pretty illuminated for other drivers to see you, but they're also not extremely bright that they will blind other drivers. You do have a nice reflector over here and the fake grill over here. If you do have that for the more top of the range Suzuki CRs, there is a fake exhaust over here. It's very interesting. So talking about the exhaust, the exhaust is hidden down there. It's just a small little tiny exhaust. So you also do have your tinted smash and grab heated rear windshield over there. And yeah, you don't have any rear parking sensors nor a camera that is available on the more top of the range Suzuki CRs or Maruti CRs. Like in India, they're called Maruti. So the only way you can open the boot is either from the interior, the key, which is a very fancy key, or through here. But for me, this switch isn't working. So let's open it up through the key. And as you can see, it pops right up. And this key looks really premium. So let's just put that on the side. <laughs> so as you can see, the boot of this vehicle isn't too bad. You, do ha you don't have any like storage on the side. It's just some extra widening. So, so there isn't like a piece of net or something for like your small stuff like a bolt or your toolbox, anything like that. Something very nice is that this car does have its spare wheel, wheel spanner, jack, triangle, and all those nice things. This is also something that I don't like about this car is the exposed, this is all exposed over here. It doesn't look very great in my opinion. But yeah, come on, this car is at, at like at 170,000 Rand. So you can't expect too much, but this doesn't look too great. So I'm going to move on to the interior of the Suzuki Sears. So this is the interior of the Suzuki CRs. And as you can see, it actually might look quite promising for its price range. So let's begin with the center console of this vehicle. As you can see, you do have your two AC vents, your hazard switch. You do have your old school radio over there, which I'll tell it you just now about. And automatic air conditioning. Yes, automatic air conditioning. This automatic air conditioning does have its automatic temperature. As you can see, it does have its fan speed and automatic air circulation. And you also do have an automatic mode, which if we press it, it will control the fan speed 
the AC, the temperature, and the air circulation. So that's also very, very cool to see in a car at this price range. So let's begin with this radio over here. You can option out to have that screen, uh, Android screen, but this one isn't optioned with that, so it doesn't have that screen. So what this little screen has, or radio, has FM, AM, CD, Bluetooth audio, AUX, and USB. So it is pretty nice. The speakers aren't too bad. I will test them out a bit at like tomorrow's video or another video. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to see these speakers. Are they good quality? I'm very excited to see that. So then this is data power center console. And as you can see, you do have this piece of storage, this cover, okay? If we open this cover, ta-da, you're greeted with your cigarette lighter aux jack and usb jack usb port not jack so then you also do have a piece of storage down there two cup holders the five speed manual and you also do have your handbrake over here with some piece of storage underneath the handbrake and your nice armrest and this armrest is peeling like crazy and there's no sunroof so this is very interesting as to why this is so appealing. So inside this armrest is nothing. It's just some storage. Storage isn't too bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> so then this is the driver's side. And as you can see, you have that analog dials over there. They look very unique with a nice digital display over there. 2016 car has 152,000 kilometers on it. It's pretty reliable. So then you also do have a nice steering wheel over here it does feel nice it is grippy i don't think this is leather steering wheel but it does feel very nice and grippy you do have your radio controls over there on the one side and on the other side you have it blank because there is a cruise control option so then you also do have your very traditional iconic suzuki um three two Stalks and those don't look too bad at all. Very iconic design. So in this is that part of the driver's side. As you can see, you do have your one AC vent over there, that chrome trim, some storage, and then you have some blank switches and your fog light, your spotlight switch, and your your lighting the direction on to go up and down. And then further down you go, you have your boot opening switch. So that isn't too bad. So then this is the door panel of this vehicle. And as you can see, do you have that chrome with that silver trim over there with your chrome handle? And you have full electric windows, central locking. You can even close the mirrors, which I'll show you just now. And you also do have some more storage further down. You go with a cup holder and a speaker. So you do have a tweeter over here and a speaker over there per panel on the front passengers. So that is also very beautiful very nice so then this is the passenger side and as you can see you do have your one ac vent over there with that trim and an airbag and then you do have your cubby hole and inside this cubby hole is nothing too interesting it's just a cubby hole so i just want you to be aware that this car only has two airbags it's only for the driver and the passenger there's no over here or there so talking about the quality in here it's you have a plastic dashboard plastic here plastic here 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 not here but here 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 it's a it's a suzuki okay let's just remember this is a suzuki so we we mustn't expect too much also here so you do have your very nice four leather seats your vegan leather seats but the headliner is absolutely horrible but yeah these are nice seats they, they look very believable, to be honest. They look very luxurious. So, talking about the seats of this car, the front seats aren't too bad. They are pretty comfortable. They, they are breathable, which is nice. So, they, so, the driver's side can go forwards and backwards. It can go down and up. And literally, you can sleep in this vehicle. And this is the furthest up it can go. As you can see, oh, I can literally have a nice sleep in here. So then also, um, the seat can go up and down. So yeah, that is pretty cool. 
So and you also do have your nice little lights over here, which you can, they are amber lights, they're not LED lights, but it's fine. This car is actually a pretty good steal at this price range. And you can also put your nice sunglasses in there. It's a very cool mechanism. There's like gears over here. That is very cool. So then the sun visors, the driver does not have any mirror on the sun visor, but the passenger does. So yeah, that's enough of me talking about the front passengers and I forgot and I almost forgot to show you these mirrors. So now I can finally move on to the back of this car. It might be more interesting at this price range. Imagine I forget to press record. Damn. No! So this is the back of the Suzuki and one thing that I hate is that this door just does not want to stay. It made my tripod with my phone and microphone fall on the rocks and it's already damaged. Alright, so let's begin with the center console of this vehicle. As you can see, you do have your vents, two AC vents at the back. You do have a cigarette lighter and some storage. Yes, AC vents in a car at this price range. Another thing that will mind blow you is armrest at a car at this price range. Where you have all of these extras. I feel like I'm in a 300,000 Rand vehicle. So yeah, this is a bit weird for me that I'm busy on this side because I usually go on this side. So you do have your, so this is the back of the seat. As you can see, you do have some storage netting. It's also pretty nice. So then this is the door panel of the car, or the rears. And as you can see, you have that chrome trim again with your chrome handle and your electric windows and some storage in a cup holder down there. Talking about comfort, I have more than enough legroom in this car i can i am comfortable to travel long distance in this car because i do have enough leg room seats aren't too bad they are pretty firm but i have seen firmer you also do have a nice light over here as you can see yeah you have two lights over there and you do have a nice handle over here grab handles so you are talking about the quality back here you do have your vegan leather seats over here plastic 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 and that trim over here it, it's not too it's okay so this is the side of the suzuki sears and as you can see it doesn't look too bad so let's first begin with the tires and brakes. You do have 16 inch alloy mags. Something that I don't like is that the rear brakes are drums and the front brakes are discs, drums. If you're a subscriber, you know that I don't like drums because I've reviewed the Renault Capture and the Navara, which are just recent drum brakes and such old technology on such a new car so yeah so you also do get your smash and grab tinted windows over here you do have your chrome handle something very cool is that you do have your keyless go over here this car is only five years old and it's already peeling over here you do have your color-coded mirror caps with your nice indicators on the mirror and you also do have some many unique body lines. Your antenna is hidden and something I don't see very often on cars at this price range is that the fuel cap locks with the car. I don't know why it does want to unlock. <laughs> but yeah, something not really nice is that if the car is just in a little incline, these are a bit too weak at the back. So like it won't stay. No matter how hard you try to make it stay, it won't as you can see so that's something to be aware of the front ones are a bit more stronger as you can see but they still 
they're still not too great. So my opinion is guys, I think this is a great daily driver if you're on a budget, especially in India, because you can really option this car out with many futures and extras. You can also get that nice four speed automatic gearbox and you can just fly through gears. So yeah, also this car doesn't look too bad, but I also think that this car is best for Uber or Bolt. So I'm going to put the Yankowski on the screen so you can see the scores that I gave this car. So for the daily scores, I gave this car 6 for Futures, 6 for Comforts, 2 for Quality because of the peeling chrome trim and the peeling rubber and of course the burnt headlights. I gave this car 9 for price currency, 8 for Value which gives a 31 out of 50 for the daily scores. Now for the weekend scores, I, I gave this car 5 for Styling, 2 for Acceleration, 6 for handling, 5 for fun facts and 5 for cool factor, which brings a total of 23 out of 50 for the weekend scores. So the total on car score is a well deserved 54 out of 100. So if I say to this part of you, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash the subscribe button, a like button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upcoming video like this. What do you think of this car? I would love to know your opinion on this car down in the comment section below. So have a great day as always and I'll see you in my next video and enjoy the bloopers. Goodbye. <music>